Okay, we're back doing this project. Um, my bridge looks all messed up. Uh, so what I have to do, this is binding board. I have to cut it. Um, what I did is I measured, here's my text block. Just dirt right there, whatever. Measured it head to tail millimeters. It's 21. And from spine to fore edge, just about 15. So that you cut the, the board bigger than that. So it'll overlap. So I'm going to cut mine to 25 by 18. So Here's a board. So I made um, a mark at the bottom. At twenty five. Just using the knife right here. And then I'll come up here. The top and I'll stick the knife. Stick the knife in. Then move the ruler next to it so that the it rests against the blade here and sits on the um, cut mark. This isn't the exactly the kind of board I need. I could have gone with something thinner. But beggars can't be choosers. Cool. So this is for later. And then I'm going to measure this way, 18. So, same method. Maybe you can see the mark right there. Probably you can't. I was listening to an audiobook. I had to turn it off for you. I did not cut this perfectly. I don't really know what happened, but here we are. Maybe I'll get a piece of sandpaper and sand it. And by maybe, I mean probably. This edge here is a little bit mushed, so I'm going to avoid it if I can. Shouldn't be a problem.
I made a big mark. I feel like these rollers are better. Get worse at this point though. Perfect. Everything about it is perfect. I'm going to cover it with paper anyway. Okay, so that's the front and the back. I mean, I kind of want to use this anyway. I really shouldn't. So then what I have to do, I have to get the thickness of it. I did something wrong. Y'all, I did something really wrong. Like really, really wrong. Everyone, do you know the difference between a centimeter and a millimeter? Because apparently, I don't. <laughs> That's okay. We can still measure for the middle piece. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We don't want to like squish. I'm just going to basically set the, this on here. And then measure. And that is exactly two centimeters. <laughs> oh, mercy. So, cool. Let's, let's, let's write down our notes for what we want. Cover. Shame on me. So, it is 150 millimeters wide, so we want 153 millimeters, and then um, it is text is that the text here is 210 millimeters so I'm going to cut it to um, 214 and then twenty wide. So now I have to cut these and you know maybe use the right unit of measurement instead of not the right one.
We're doing better this time by some margin. That isn't particularly that much better. Um, so what did I say? This would be 153. I tried to use my quilting ruler, but the blade guard gets in the way. Cool. Much cleaner cut too. I just cut an, a pretty new blade. And this one is also 153 millimeters because we need a front and a back. So the one thing we can do is measure. Safer thing we can do is use the other board that we cut first to be our guide. And now this piece, which is meant to be 20 millimeters, AKA two centimeters. You really are never supposed to like up from your side that you're not keeping. But it doesn't feel safe. And I'd rather some imprecision than, you know, cutting my finger off. Cool. This is a little weirdness here. Perfect. Boards are cut. The next step is to clean up the mess that's over here that you can't see. Oh, then it must be clean already. Um, I have to wrap the board. No, the next step is to paste them. So I got glue. But, oh, you know what? I wanted to test punching the holes. So let's need our tools for that. Um, how do I see how this does? This is scrap. Is that too big of a hole? I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna look at what it looks like when two threads go through it. I think it's too big of a hole. Yeah, it's too large. Hmm.
Well, okay. Yeah, that looks real good. Mm-hmm. I think the hole's a good size. Now we have to measure. Well, no, we have to cover them. I have to find paper to cover them with. So, I've clearly thought this out well. I guess I'll be back when I do that. 